Oops. <laughs> I can't, I can't yell anymore. Um, now that we live in an apartment building and not a house. Uh, so now I have neighbors that live across from us, next to us and below us. Thank God nobody lives above us. Thank God. It's, I hate having people live above us. Like it's, anyways. Um, yeah, so the vlog was a complete fucking flop. Um, <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm pretty much just, I'm just gonna, this video is just gonna be me talking about the whole experience. Um, I do have some video for the vlog. It's really nothing worth showing. Uh, we filmed, uh, I filmed like once earlier in the week last week, uh, just kind of like just counting down the days. Um, and then we filmed a little bit driving to Chicago. Um, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start at the beginning, okay? Because this was one of the best and one of the worst experiences <laughs> I've ever had. And, and don't take that the wrong way. Just li just listen to why I say one of the worst. So, it only, it only takes like five hours from Cincinnati to Chicago. Really not as bad as like some of the other people we've talked to. Like there were people driving up from Alabama, fucking 15 hours. That's insane. Um, but, so we left Saturday morning. The concert was, you know, Saturday night. And uh, we left... Uh, going through Indiana um we dropped off Phoebe at Katie's mom's house and damn it is pouring outside holy shit wow okay sorry um like it's raining really hard right now. I don't know if you guys can hear that um so we drop drop Phoebe off at Katie's house and we hit the road we got like four hours left because it takes like an hour to get to her mom's house. It's ridiculous. They live literally in the middle of nowhere. And, uh, I remember we stopped and got food. We waited the, we waited at McDonald's and this is completely like, you don't even need to know this, but I just, it felt like I had to tell somebody the, the line was going like out of McDonald's and like down the street almost like it was so bad. Um, but anyway, so we're on our way to Chicago. Um, we looked up the weather, what the weather was going to be like the day before. And, it, it, hey, Alexa. Fuck you. She turned off. <laughs> um, Alexa told us it was only going to be like a 20% chance of rain. And, you know, it was going to be, you know, not. I'm not sure. Shut up. Um. It wasn't going to be too warm, but it wasn't going to be too cold either. It was going to, you know, just normal. And uh, so I was like, okay, great. You know, I probably, you know I'm not going to bring anything. <sighs> when I said this is one of the worst experiences ever, this is what I'm talking about. So we get to Chicago. I've only been on the outside. Like, I've passed Chicago, but I've never actually been in, like, the city. So we get there. And we're like on that highway thing where like the train runs, uh, like going into the city and stuff. And that was a fucking nightmare. But we finally get into the city and I have never, never in my life, I've, I mean, I've been almost all over the United States and I've never seen a city with such aggressive people driving <laughs> it's it's low like low-key like it's scary as fuck driving around downtown chicago um just because of the other drivers like the and, and it's and it's not even like like the normal people necessarily on the road it's the taxis and the cabs they, they are fucking insane they're fucking crazy okay they're crazy so um it's it's raining it's raining, of course. Of course it's fucking raining. I'm dressed just like this, by the way. I, I had no hoodie, no nothing. Um, no, no umbrella, nothing like that. So it took us over an hour to find parking. We parked a good three miles or so, whatever it was, away from the arena. So we finally find parking, and then it's 50 bucks to fucking park. <laughs> so then... 
So now we gotta take a lift <laughs> from parking, the parking garage, to the stadium. Whatever. We fucking did it. That was that. I was I was pissed off already. I'm like, but you know what? I'm not gonna let these idiots on the road. Let me say this first. Chicago is fucking such a cool city. I wish I wish we could have like had an extra day just so like I could like we could walk around and stuff because it seemed like like I've never been to a big city like that. You know what I mean? Um, but it was awesome. Um, swear it was just like it, like it, it's just like Gotham. Like it's it's insane. Um, but uh, no. So we finally take a lift. We get to the stadium finally, um, and there's like. 20 different lines like everywhere like every direction you see like there's a fucking line for something um and then like the lines i guess going into the building it like i i don't know how any of it was like so, like set up like i it, it not none of nothing nothing made sense literally nothing made sense there um we couldn't get any merch unfortunately because it was fucking expensive um, mind you, it's raining the entire time we're outside, it's raining and like, it'll like, it, you know, it would get a little bit heavier then it would like slow down and then it would start picking up just a little bit again and then it would slow down and stuff. And I'm just, I, I had nothing. I was fucking soaked by the time we got inside, but we got there and I'm like, you know, oh damn, you know, uh, you know, maybe, maybe I can buy a hoodie or something. Um, don't think they had my size, first of all, um. And then the hoodies were, you know, fucking 80 bucks. And I'm like, I'm not. I don't have money. Like, we didn't even have really money to park. You know what I mean? Like, it was so fucking expensive. And, again, this is totally all my fault. I should have brought something anyways. I'm not blaming anybody but myself. But I was like, this is... This... It... It got so bad. Like, we were just standing in line. And, like, I wanted to talk to the people, like, around us and stuff. But I, I just, like, I just stood there. I was so pissed. I was... I was, I was like, really, I was just upset. Like, I wanted to just, like, stand there and cry. Because I was fucking cold. And I was wet. <laughs> but I was, oh, the cold. I was so fucking cold. It was, it, just because of the mixture of the rain and the wind and stuff. And it just, it was so bad. And, um, I mean, we, st we stood in that for, I mean, since, like, three or four or something. All the way up to whenever they let us, you know. Yeah, I think, I think we got there, like, three something up until they let us in the, uh, into the, in, like, you know, inside. But, of course, the stadium's also outside, so, anyways. So, we finally, we get inside, and, which, by the way, first of all, a couple of people complimented my shirt. I know, I love this shirt. I actually wore it to work today, and I knew people were going to say something about it, um, Surprisingly, nobody at work did. It was all just like the truck di truck drivers that we deal with. Um, they all started calling me Moonchild now. So, hey, I mean, fuck, you know, I don't got a problem with that. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I got this on Etsy. Um, it was like 20 bucks or so. Uh, I can post the link in the description for it. Um, and it fits perfectly, too. Like, just... You know, I, I put my size in that I wear that I'm not going to say because it's embarrassing. But, uh, yeah, so um, <laughs> we finally get inside and, uh, you know, we're, we're standing undercover finally. And, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to, you know, like I can't, you know, like I, I, I was at the point, literally, I was so upset that I'm like, I'm like I want to just fucking leave at this point. Um, but I kept, I kept. I kept trying, like, I kept fighting with myself. I'm like, no, you can't leave. You, you've waited so fucking long for this. People would fucking kill to be in your spot right now. You can't fucking leave. So I stuck it out. Um, we went upstairs because uh, we were, like, in, like, the top, one of the top set, like, section 320, I think. Um, so we were, like, towards, like, the back. Like, the stage was, like, in front of us, you know what I mean? Um, but we get, we get up top there, and I was like, you know what? First of all, the fucking women's restroom, I felt so bad because Katie had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> if you were there, you know, the fucking restroom line was just like, like forever long. And I just walked right into the guy's bathroom like, ha ha, first time it's, you know, worked out being a guy. <laughs> 
and uh, walked right in there. There were like two other guys in there, and I was like, fuck yeah, dude, this is great. Um, <laughs> I almost feel like they should have opened the men's, like some of the men's restroom just for the women because there was just so many, so many people. It was insane. Um, but uh, yeah, I was like, you know, shit, let's get, you know, let's get something to drink. Let's get something to eat. You know, we hadn't eaten all day. Um, didn't have any water, nothing like that. Um, they were selling hot dogs, by the way, outside in the line. And I'm like, I'm not going to eat wet hot dogs in the, like, no, that's not happening. So we get up to the fucking, <laughs> we get up to the counter and I'm like, you know what? At this point, I don't drink beer. I hate beer. It's disgusting. I was like, but at this point I'm trying to get fucked up. So that way, one, I warm up and two, I'm in a better mood because I was so pissed at that moment. And like I said, nobody blamed but myself. Um, so I ended up getting a beer, which was $11, $11 <laughs> for a beer. Um, never seen that anywhere in the history of what, what $11 for a can of shit beer. <laughs> like, but they got me, they got my ass or, you know, and it, I forgot it was Miller Lite or something like that, or they were selling blue moons for $13. Ooh. Um, probably should have just paid the two extra dollars and then a fucking $7 pretzel, which the pretzel was pretty banging, but $7, mm. um, so I about to say, fuck it. We got our food and stuff. Um, finally went up, got, sat down in our seats. Seats are like fucking like this, by the way. Um, everybody, everybody's kind of like just sitting like this. So that was fucking terrible. So I couldn't even like... It felt good sitting down, but like I couldn't even like get comfortable because I'm sitting, you know, I'm sitting like straight up and I'm trying not to touch anybody and it's like it's failing because we're all just touching each other and it's <laughs> and then um fucking to the to like to the, all the way to the left of us towards like the end of the stadium or like to the edge to the corner of the stadium, there's like a giant like opening to where like you could see like the city and stuff. So the wind was literally coming straight through that hole and hitting all of us that were in that row. And I'm like, I can't, I can't get away from it. Like I can't, like it finally stopped raining, but then the, all this wind was just coming through. And I like, I could like barely move my fingers. Like I was doing this the whole time. Like, it's so slow. And, you know, I'm trying to pay, like, with my card, and I'm, like, slowly pulling it all out. It was so bad. I was fucking freezing my ass off. So that's why literally nothing was filmed is because it was raining and because I was literally fucking frozen. I was... Oh, my God, I was so fucking pissed. Um, and then, so, we're finally sitting there. Um, Katie and I are both in just a terrible mood. <laughs> and then it didn't help, like... Obviously, we knew, you know, everybody everybody was going to be losing their shit, you know. But it just so happened that we were sitting, like, three rows in front of these, like, honest to God, like, 12-year-old girls. And they were just, every time, every time one of the members popped up on the TV, it just, this, like, just ear-piercing, just screams. And I was like, oh, my God, just... Shut the fuck up, it's not them. Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, <I> just, <laughs> but like I knew it was coming, so that's why I was like, I just try to ignore it. I'm like, I you know, you knew this is gonna happen, you know. Um Oh my god. <sighs> like I, I had no patience that day whatsoever. Literally none. Um But things started to look up uh because I think we we sat down around like six, it was like six something, something like that. Cause they finally let us in the doors at like 5.30. So we sat down maybe around like six, 6.30, something like that. And the show started at seven. Well, so we're sitting there. We had been sitting there for maybe like half an hour or something like that. People start screaming and I'm like, oh God, <laughs> oh God. And I'm, I'm looking around and I see everybody like turn like almost like towards us pointing up. And I look up, motherfucker. I swear, it like it was like they were bro, they were fucking BTS was literally right fucking there in the window. And I'm just sitting there like <gasps> Like I was like just like I, I like it caught me off guard. Like I knew I knew I was gonna cry at some point that night. But I thought it was gonna be when the show started. <laughs> 
so it was like a premature like like it was just bro i i oh my god so like they started coming up like one at a time to the window and they were all just like looking at everybody and everybody's pointing at them and like waving and stuff and then jimin jimin comes up to the window and, and mind you like bro they're standing like right fucking there and um they're fucking jimin's looking around he's looking at everybody just waving literally like just looking at literally everybody and then like he he like he like since we're like right there he's looking down at us and like he's waving and stuff and i'm like hi like, 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 bro. And then I turned around, bro. I just started just bawling. I just started just fucking bawling. <laughs> like I said, I wasn't fucking ready for it. I was not ready for it at all. I'm like, bro, he's, I was not expecting to even be that close whatsoever. You know what I mean? Like, I just, oh my God. And then fucking TXT was there that night uh, because we ended up seeing them at one point. Uh, they were up in the window and they were waving at everybody. And I was like, bro, that's fucking wild, dude. Like, that's crazy. Um, so I assume like their room was like literally right there. Um, and I think they had like a photo shoot or something going on up there. Cause it was mad people with cameras all taking pictures of them and shit. Um, but, uh, so yeah, so they ended up finally like disappearing back into the shadows and, uh, <laughs> and at that, you know, it, it got my mind off of it. I'm like, off, off of like how cold I was and everything. And, uh, it was a good like 10, 15 minutes or so, but like, like, up until they actually went on stage, like, you know, everybody just kept, like, looking up to the fucking room just to make sure that, you know, they weren't staying in there and shit. But, uh, so, yeah, we sat there for a little while longer, and the show finally started. And... <laughs> when I tell you that I have never been to a concert like this, bro. I had never seen some shit like this. I, I'm, I've never felt something as powerful as this, like, concert, like, when it comes to, like, any concert that I've ever gone to. I just, it, and, and the whole just, like, the army bomb thing, and just, like, that, how that's whole, like, interactive, and it's it's just, like, looking at it all, at, at like, everybody in the, in the, in the crowd, and it's just, Like, I'm speechless right, right now. Like, I, I just, it, it's, it was insane. And, and unfortunately, I have maybe the first, like, I recorded maybe the first, like, 30 seconds of the show. I didn't record a single thing the rest of the night. I, I, I like, and that's, and that's never, you know, normally I'm, I'm one of the, you know, everybody else that's sitting there with their phones recording. The, no, like, literally, I got lost into the show like it was just i i don't know like it was it was just like i said it was nothing like i've ever experienced in my life um so i'm gonna go i'm gonna you know what i'm gonna go down the set list we're gonna go down the set list so they started and it's is it is it dionysus Di Di Dionysus? I don't know. But that one, bro, that was fucking insane, bro. That was fucking, that was crazy. Um, that, that's, that's, I mean, that, that's a, that's a song, literally. I mean, I know everybody says it, but that's really a song that makes you just want to beat the shit out of somebody. Like, on some <laughs> um, outro, outro wings. Bro, I was on my way home Friday. Um, no, 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 no. No, it was on, because Katie and I drove separately to her mom's house. Um, cause she might've had to have worked the next day. So that's why like we drove separately there, but we drove together to Chicago. So we're on our way to Katie's mom's house and wings came on and I don't know, like, it's just like, it just like took a, cause I, I get lost in music. I really do. Um, same with like movies, like I'm, I'm a, in video games as well. Like I'm just, I'm a huge, like, I just love, like, it's all art, you know? And I just, it, sometimes it just really catches me, you know what I mean? But, um, wings was fucking I wasn't ready for that. I didn't know they were going to do that one. I didn't, know, I didn't look at the set list at all. Um, Kate, Katie did, and she was like, you want me to tell you? And I'm like, nope, no. Nope, I want every single every single song to be a surprise. I figured they'd perform certain songs and stuff, but I, I didn't want to know a single thing. Um, that and not today. Um, I had no idea they were doing that. I didn't think I'd ever see like any of these older songs. You know what I mean? Um, I didn't know they were gonna do as many songs as they were also. Like, 
they did a shit ton. <laughs> um, a good majority of them all being like, you know, solo songs, like their own, you know, each each member's songs and stuff, which was, um, which I'm sure helps out a lot. You know, it definitely, you know, it gives, you know, everybody a break and stuff. Um, so that's probably why they can do so many songs at once. And they just like the show just kept going and going and going and going and it like it never stopped. And that's that's one thing that's so great is because most bands, you know, like it's it's or groups, you know, they, they all go out on stage on once. They don't have their own things that they do. And it's, you know, they'll perform two, maybe three songs and then they'll take like a 10 minute break or they'll go change costumes and stuff. And it's like. 20 minutes later, then they finally come back out on stage and do another two songs and they disappear. It's fucking annoying. But no, this, it just kept going and going and going. Like there was no stopping. It was insane. Just Dance, bro. That motherfucker. Okay, first of all, his just whole set was just beautiful. Just the purple and the pink. Bro, he fuck. Oh my God, he is so, I mean, they're all so good live, but that was such a good, he is, oh my God. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god it was so good um and that's that's actually when i finished my beer and i was like I, I i you know i was i was getting warmed up with the crowd and stuff and i and i started i don't know just getting into it more and everything um euphoria <laughs> bro bro okay so it started and <laughs> it was fucking awesome and then it gets to the point where he spoilers i guess if you don't want to fucking hear this i don't know um, where he grabs onto the bar or whatever, and then he starts like flying around the stadium, bro. <laughs> Which fucking he got up, he got up on the bar, and he started like lifting up and getting mo like moving around and stuff. And during that moment, up to the right, like of the stadium, was the American flag, <laughs> and boy, it was just fucking just going to town, just fucking flapping and shit. And I'm like. He is America, like, right now. Like, he is John, John Cook. Like, it was just the most, like, American thing I've ever, bro, it was fucking awesome. Like, <laughs> I almost actually teared up a little bit. It was so great. Um, best of me, fucking, I, I, I am a huge EDM fan. So that, like, that's, that's one of my songs, um, definitely. Uh, and So What, I love So What also. Um, I know a lot of people hate on when they do like that type of, that type of music and stuff, but I don't, I don't know. That's, that's some of my favorites. Uh, serendipity, uh, again, more fucking shirt lifting and stuff. Wasn't ready for that. Um, I'm like, he, oh my God, they, they sound so much better. Like, I mean, I don't know if that's going to come out wrong. Like they sound so good live. Almost, almost at times better than the fucking albums themselves. And I, I don't know if that's just because, like, we're actually seeing them perform or what. But it was just, it was fucking fantastic. Like, I, I just, oh my god. Um, trivia Love, uh, a fucking June. Uh, he, um, daddy. <laughs> no, um, god. Like, I. I, I feel like I'm just gonna literally say the same thing for every fucking song. Like, it's just, it was all so amazing. And by the time, let's see, Boy With Love, Boy With Love was right after Love. Um, I think that's when I really started to just fucking getting into it and stuff. Uh, Cause right after that was Dope and I just fucking like, I lost it. I was like, I never thought I'd see Dope live. And <laughs> so I'm sitting there and you know I got I got I got the army bomb and everything and it's just fucking I, I just I, th I think yeah I think right around dope is when I stopped uh, uh, I pretty much at, 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 at that moment don't remember the rest of the concert uh, because I didn't really see it because I had my eyes closed a good majority of the time because I was just so into it and I was just fucking like, I was grooving and fucking singing and just, I don't know, like it was just, it was. <laughs> so when I tell you it was one of the best experiences of my life, that's what I'm talking about. And that's why I didn't film a single thing. Um, and I don't even regret not filming anything because it just, 
I was so sucked into just all of it. You know what I mean? Um, Silver Spoon, Fire, fucking Idol. I, I just like it. I don't, I don't know, bro. Um, I fucking, okay, hold on, hold on. Because I screamed like a fucking bitch <laughs> when tears started. <laughs> As soon as, like, everything, like, turned green, and then, like, you just, like, heard the beginning of it, and I grabbed Katie, and I was like, ah! and, like, <laughs> bro, I was so fucking pumped, I was fucking, you know, like, I, like, I was this close, literally, from punching the lady in front of me in the back of the head, literally, like, I was just fucking going to town, um, and looking back on it, I'm like, damn, I really hope, like, nobody noticed me in the crowd, like, behind me. Um, which, uh, and then, yeah, because right after that was mic drop. And, god damn. I, I just, and I'm, just, I'm fucking, you know, I was fucking dancing and shit. And I just, oh my god, it was... Damn, yeah, so actually Mic Drop was, I forgot the final song, and then they did the the last four, the encore songs and stuff, but, bro, I don't know, like, it, it after a while, like, might have been around, it might have been around Dope, actually, like, is when I really got, like, I, I was feeling, like, warm, actually, um, so I was starting to sweat and stuff, because I was, like, I was, I was grooving too much and stuff, you know what I mean, and, um, I just, you know, I, I was feeling it and that's just bro it was it was a fucking experience um but uh yeah so the concert i mean then they after after they uh did their last song they all talked on stage lasted a good little while um then that was it um and then went down well, we went back downstairs uh and i actually got to meet some of you guys and it was awesome uh, I'm not gonna post any of the pictures though, cause I don't wanna <laughs> just like, I guess dox you guys like that. <laughs> um, but you guys have posted some on Twitter and stuff, um, and it was it was it was awesome. Um, you guys are super cool, um, real nice. Thankfully, <laughs> I didn't think any of, any of you guys were gonna be mean or like assholes or anything, but like you know that always helps. Um, but uh yeah and then i mean that i mean that's that was it bro like i i i don't know and then and then like after that uh we ended up finally ended up like we got maybe an hour away from chicago and we were we were like fuck it we're going to stay at a hotel because i was like falling asleep at the wheel and everything and it was i mean it was getting dangerous uh, well, before we get to the hotel, there's a gas station, like, right next to it. We pull in there first to get some, like, snacks and stuff, and, uh, this lady, you know, we were talking to a lady behind the register, and she was, we were like, yeah, we just came back from a concert, and she was like, oh, yeah, the last lady that was just in here, she, she just came back for a concert, but that must have been something different. Uh, she goes, it was for, like, kids or something like that, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. She was like, yeah, it's, like, BT something or whatever, and I was like, BTS? And she was like, yeah, that's it. And I'm like, yeah, that's where we just came from. And she looked at me and I was like, it's not really for kids. <laughs> <laughs> but so, you know, it, it just, it <laughs> so that was funny. Um, and it, it was, it, it was, I don't know. It was, Looking back on it, like, I, I really do wish I had filmed more, but it just, I don't know. It, it was it was nice being able to really just enjoy myself and not have to worry about doing all this extra shit. You know what I mean? Um, I just wish I would have opened my eyes and actually watched the concert. <laughs> but again, like I said, you know, I was just, I was feeling it, bro. I was feeling myself. I was just fucking, I don't know. I was so into it. Um, it was insane, but... I'll tell you what, though, next time, um, with or without Katie, because she said it was perfectly fine, I'm getting fucking floor seats. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm getting fucking front row, fucking right there, bro. Let me tell you, like, it's happening. It's happening. 
Hopefully next time. If not, then maybe the time after that. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I'm really out of things to say about it. It was, I just thought I'd let you guys know as to how it went. You know, a lot of you guys have been asking. So, um, but if you made it this far, oh, it's already 30 something minutes. Jesus. Um, thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. The camera's up here. <laughs> um, and I guess I'll see you guys. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, no, 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 don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. So real quick, my bias may or may not have changed <laughs> after the concert. I wasn't expecting this to happen, but it did. Um, Jimin is still my small little bean and he's amazing <laughs> however the the rap line has completely just taken anything i had and just fucking just uh, um but i am a hold on let me let me do a reveal I mean, I guess you guys have already seen this once, but this this young man right here, <laughs> this is my fucking dude, bro. Like, I just, I don't know, yo. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, I mean, I love all their music, but when this motherfucker gets on the mic, bro, especially, like, after seeing him live, I'm like, he's just a fucking... He's a monster, bro. He's a fucking beast. And I want to tell him that myself at some point because he needs to know from another grown-ass man as this motherfucker just gets it, bro. Um, but no, just the whole just the whole rap line in general, bro. The three of them, they're fucking incredible. Because, um, bro, I'm telling you, I, 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 I was like, I pray to God they do a fucking song. Whether it be Tear, one of the ciphers, anything. I'm really pissed that I won't get to see any of the fucking ciphers live already, as it is. Um, but they at least need Tear, so I'm good with that. As long as we can get just one song, every fucking album, or just every two albums, whatever, I'll be good, bro. Like, <laughs> um, waiting on the mixtapes. Waiting on the fucking mixtape, though. Um, but... Yeah, so that's that's why I changed my, for those of you that follow me on Twitter, that's why I changed my Twitter layout and then my name. I was just like, I was I was trying to think of like names for sugar last night and I'm like, wait, what's the, what's the, uh, the chemical breakdown or whatever of sugar? And it's like C12 h22 o11 or something like that and i was like ah that's fucking i'm hilarious like i'm the funniest guy on earth ever nobody has ever made a joke other than myself that's why i'm so funny um and yeah so that's why my cornball has <laughs> went with that name um but yeah so i thought you guys should know that um but i can't believe i just really just admitted that jim and i'm sorry <laughs> Shit happens, bro. Shit happens. <laughs> but I don't know. I guess I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.